are we waiting on Jeff? He's he's gonna be an hour though. He's, did he he, say? Well, he'd be forty five minutes to here. This is crazy, guys. So we're up here. Um, Ingletown right. Road. Ingletown Road. This one happened quite a while ago, so uh, she went back home and, and just left it. But we're gonna try to get it. So stick around, stay tuned. I'm gonna give this to you. Have you yeah. done one of these before? Ah, uh, it's been a while. Okay. You can honestly <laughs> clip it just right here to the vest, sure. and if you run this underneath it, okay, this can just sit in your pocket. How long it took him to put this guardrail in? <laughs> How many people had to go down there to put the guardrail? Yeah. Now get you here in the shade. Sure. That's the sheriff. I'll have to let him through. <laughs> That's the state. <laughs> I would imagine so. Yeah, I'll grab. I'll grab this one. Oh, I don't know. That's not me. I'm a tow Let it go. Okay. It'll probably be easier. Oh, I won't be in anyone's way. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, right, here. right there. I'm going to be here. You just look like you're talking to me. Don't worry about okay. the camera one bit. Okay. Easiest question, my friend. You tell me your first last name and spell it. My first name's Jeff, J E F F. Last name is Patton, P A T T O N. Jeff, what's a good title for you? Uh, we're the owner operator of Everything Auto, Towing and Repair. So obviously, over the last couple days, snow and ice has sort of taken the headlines by storm. What have you been seeing from your own two eyes? We've, we've just had a whole lot of uh, people off the roadways. We've tried to help a lot of people. We, the phone calls that we've been getting are, are very heartbreaking. We've got a lot of folks that are you know, stranded in their cars and they've been there for a couple of days. You know, They've had kids and animals with them. Uh, and, and of course, it got down to zero, one degree. Uh, so we've tried to help a lot of people. What's gotten a lot of people are trying to get up their driveways. Uh, the county and the city's done an amazing job in and around Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge as far as the main roads. But when you come to some of the side streets, you're trying to get to your rental cabin, these roads are, are pretty steep. And uh, you, you'll start up that way and then you'll start sliding back down pretty quick and then you end off, a, uh, off the side of some of these roads that uh, look a lot like this one right here. Obviously with the nature of a mountain, what goes up must come down. And and I know a lot of those angles give people trouble, especially the incline. What are you seeing folks give them the most trouble? Is it those steep driveways or what is it? Yeah, it's the steep driveways and, and the steep roads getting to some of this. So the back roads, uh, we've got some shaded areas that don't that don't get that ice melting sun. And then uh, it, people get a little confident because they've, they've came so far and then the last minute they get in trouble on some of the icy hills. And just, just like you said, once you start sliding, there's no, there's no giving up on that. So. <laughs> Is there a way to quantify how many calls you've got today? We've probably had a thousand phone calls, and, and we try we try to get out uh, to to a lot of these areas. But some some of the stuff we just can't get to. So keep that in mind, guys. If you're coming to to the area to vacation, get a lot of phone calls that say, "Hey, can you load my car up and take me to my cabin?" You know, the, the tow trucks are kind of the same as yours. That really operating on the snow and ice. Uh, we're going to slip and slide the same as everybody else. So the days following the big storm is kind of is kind of a, a heavy load on us because the the roads are starting to clear. And then like this lady, she's been here for three days. They finally got the mountain cleared off enough to where we can get up here and operate the tow truck. So just because it happened, you know, it, it doesn't always get recovered that within that hour. And uh, the workload for everybody has been the same. Our our phone has just went crazy. If you could pinpoint some of the areas in Sevier County where you guys have been frequenting over the last 24, 48 hours, where would it be? We've been Ski Mountain, Sky Harbor, Hatcher Mountain, just a lot of the bigger the bigger grades and, and the elevations. It just uh, just be mindful of those spots if you're if you're coming into the area. And I know a lot of folks don't know exactly where their cabin's going to be until until the last minute. But if it looks bad. It's, it's really not worth it guys a lot of the, a lot of the people are coming in with little cars um, and we've even had the bigger trucks we've had four-wheel drives and dualies um, down off of the edge of this stuff so it, it really doesn't matter what you've got ice is no match for anything so and then you mentioned too you've been very very busy over the last couple of days you see cars like this just abandoned on the side of the road that's something I feel like we don't see a whole lot in East Tennessee because we don't typically get this but how many of those are you seeing? Cars just left. You know, it's thousands. I, I would say thousands. Um, and it's we get we get the crazier stories. Uh, we had a gal last night that said, "Hey, uh, our insurance company said they were sending somebody. 
Uh, you know, it's, it's been a long time, no one ever showed up. They told me to leave my keys with my vehicle, that, that a tow truck would respond. Uh, they had Christmas presents and things in their car, so they were really, really worried about, uh, you know, an unlocked vehicle with all the presents in there. But unfortunately, that was kind of the situation. You know, some of the tow truck drivers are gonna need keys uh, to do the recovery safely, but we've just seen a lot of this. You know, there's there's really nothing you can do. Another big another big tip that we, we always tell all of our customers, if you have to leave your vehicle, leave your name and your phone number on the dash because, uh, you know, if a tow truck happens to come by and can help you, we can't help you unless you give us permission to. So if you've got that if you've got that name and phone number on there, when we're helping people in the area, we can pick up the phone and say, hey. We've been hearing that some people, whether it be tourists or others, trying to just leave. And, you know, a lot of people spent the holiday here in the mountains and they can't get out. Yeah. As much as they may want to go back to their home, yeah. whether it be in Florida or across state lines. Yeah. Is that what you're seeing as well? Have you helped yeah. people just get down the driveway? Just get down the driveway, yeah. And, and we'll have to chain our truck up and uh, do all kinds of crazy things just to get them to the main road, which the main road might just be 50 feet away. Uh, but that last 50 feet, if it's straight up and down, is going to be a nightmare. And we do get a lot of folks that are just trying to leave the area. Uh, some questions that we have are, you know, we're, our checkout time is at 10 o'clock and we have to be out, so you have to come and help me. But guys, I promise you, if if you can't get out, other people can't get in. So they're going to extend your stay for your safety. They're not going to let you get in, in, a, in a world of hurt there. So. Gotcha. Any other advice? If great advice certainly anything else we should know some of the things that we run into just just keep a bag of uh, ice melt with you if you're expecting some some of the heavier snow and ice in your area just throw a bag of that in your trunk it's going to help out a lot jump boxes uh, we get we've gotten thousands of calls for dead batteries of course the temperatures bring bring that stuff down so keep yourself one of the little small electronic jump boxes in your trunk keep that charged up that's going to mean the difference between you getting out because we've got some older folks that say you know I just need a simple jump start and I can't get out because my battery's dead and I need my medication so if you'll get if you'll get one of those maybe you can save yourself a lot of money and a lot of time on getting out of town so. that's all I have for you thank you sir thank you sure. yeah I should have mentioned the channel <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll put video credit out there. Yeah, the YouTube channel, man. We get we get people from all over the world, though. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah. Cars littering the roads in Sevier County abandoned during the snow that froze our streets. Tonight, crews are trying to clear the roads. Good evening. Glad you're here. For WVLT News at 10, I'm Ted Hall. Our Sam Luther catching up with a busy tow truck crew tonight. In Sevier County, Cars are being towed after dozens of people abandoned them after snow and ice hit the mountains. People get a little confident because they've, they've came so far and then the last minute they get in trouble on some of the icy hills. Jeff Patton with Everything Auto has gotten about a thousand calls Wednesday alone. People asking him to bring their car to safety. Leave your name and your phone number on the dash because, uh, you know, if a tow truck happens to come by and can help you, we can't help you unless you give us permission to. This overturned Jeep on Old Mountain Road is just one example of what crews are dealing with. Other trouble areas, Ski Mountain, Sky Harbor, and Hatcher Mountain, just to name a few. Those shaded areas with hills and curves causing trouble for hundreds. But if it looks bad, it's, it's really not worth it, guys. A lot, of the, a lot of the people are coming in with little cars, um, and we've even had the bigger trucks. We've had four-wheel drives and dualies um, down off of the edge of this stuff. So it, it really doesn't matter what you've got. It, ice is no match for anything. In Sevier County, Sam Luther, WVLT News. Now, this is probably some information that might help you. You need to know the county is not responsible for keeping private roads clear. Sevier County's EMA director says he's asking, they're asking the owners of the homes on these sometimes very steep private roads to clear their own property. Will that work there? Yeah, that's perfect. You're in gear on that one? Yeah, it's in gear. The, the car's in gear. It's, uh, parking brakes on.
Off the road. Wow. Wow. Destroy your stuff and run over. Yeah. Happens all the time. My poor 
Cobra Cone, that was a good one too. Did you get it to neutral? I did finally, yeah. Ah! ridiculous. I'm not surprised. That's probably the same guy that yelled at you on the other one. a therapist <laughs> contact me because I often need someone to talk to oh my god this is not good right here see my got I got my one wheel and I can't stop because my one wheel skidding on ice and I got a car on the back which makes it worse on the push and makes me need a therapist more <laughs> <laughs> no guys I, I love I love the channel and I love I love that part of it that um, you know I get uh, I get comments from you guys and and I get to talk to uh, lots of people our YouTube family my YouTube family is always there for me so thank you guys for always entertaining with the comments and uh, getting back to me on, on on those things and I love to hear from you guys I really do we're headed out we have the news Sam from WVLT Sam from WVLT, thank you for uh, for contacting us. We were able to help uh, Sam out with a little bit of video footage uh, for the afternoon. You know, we got a lot of we've got a big YouTube family, so I try to get some of that information out to you guys on the do's and the don'ts, and try to help out our visitors to the area. But if Sam gets it out there on the news, then maybe uh, maybe we can help some more folks not get into so much trouble you got to get into a little trouble it's no fun but uh it's still you want to you want to go home so yes is everything okay sorry that was okay. coven uh coven's i got some amazing kids guys uh, you know I, I go on about our youtube family and friends and all that stuff but i truly do have some amazing family son-in-law daughter-in-law son daughter they uh they help me out each and every day um, you know without kendra we couldn't uh, these videos wouldn't make it to you without kendra mm -hmm. uh so big shout out to kendra and coven helps us out uh, we get a lot of folks that need to go to the lot pick up things out of their cars that have been crashed or towed away and he helps us uh get get some of those folks reconnected with their items um and he also helps me in the service truck with uh, jump starts and lockouts and uh sorry i'm extreme concentration on who I'm about to run over yeah. here. Don't sideswipe that Audi. Yeah, that would not be fun. No. But yeah, they do an amazing job with helping me out with that. And when you guys watch and helps us out too. Mm -hmm. So we love that. 
and uh, hopefully we're going to get over to the lot, get this one unloaded. We've still got we've still got a tremendous amount of people on the list. You know, I, just earlier this morning we were we had people that had been on our list for over 24 hours, almost 48 hours. This one, and uh, we were trying to get over to help them. And along the way to help these people, you encounter dozens more people that need your help. And sometimes, sometimes you can get out and help them without tremendously interrupting the other people that you've promised so that's the hard part you know we're not we're not a big company we don't you know it's just me my wife my daughter my son they always help us out but you know it's it's hard for us to keep caught up and we've had we've had a lot of calls here for the last 48 hours and we've gotten very minimal sleep in 48 hours so uh hopefully we can get through this winter storm and get some more of these people recovered from their horrible positions and uh, get into the new year and maybe relax a little bit for for the new year would be great. If not, we'll relax after the new year. Like I said, guys, got some amazing kids, some amazing uh, YouTubers. We appreciate you guys and Elijah and Reagan. We love them both. We love them both. But uh, yeah, stick around, stay tuned. Probably got a tremendous amount of stuff coming your way. Okay guys, we're back over here at the lot with the Jeep. I just, uh, I don't know if I got a walk around of the damage or not. It wasn't bad. It was on this side. This side was down. It's got a little body damage, a few scrapes. Mirrors missing, but again, no glass. No glass damage. Um, I put the battery charger on this one. We checked all of the fluids. There was nothing that leaked out on the scene. So, a bunch of sealed, it's a sealed system. So, as long as there's no fluids anywhere, I popped the housing on the uh, intake. It was fine, and it fired right up. Been on, been sitting on its side for three days. Yeah, she's on her way to get it. She's on her way to get it. Hopefully, she can uh, have some wheels back in this uh, in these hard times, and and that will make her day just a little bit better. But I think it'll be fine. We're gonna check some more fluids here in a minute, and uh, wait on her to arrive. So stick around, stay tuned. So this poor lady in this Honda Pilot down here, during the snow apocalypse. She was trying to come up this hill here. She slid in ice and what revved it so much trying to get up the hill that she blew her motor. I guess she was she was really giving it the business and uh, and blew her motor up. And she has called us about it probably every day since Monday, but we just have not been able to get up here. And finally, it got above I don't know, it got up to like 55 degrees today, so it melted all the snow in the snow apocalypse. <laughs> And there's still snow on that roof there. Let's see? It's in the middle of the road. I can't believe the county didn't sense it. Well, I guess they're just not. That's the second time I've said that today, isn't it? Directly in the middle of the road. Give me just a minute, please. Oh, goodness. It clanked, it clanked. Oh, we'll have to put some stuff underneath that. Well, maybe it's just water. It's just water. I think it's definitely right in the middle of the road. Is it all-wheel drive? No. And she locked it too. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We'll see if the parking brake's set. I bet it is. Oh, for sure it's set. Set the parking brake, take the keys, in the middle of the road. Leave it in the middle of the road. <sighs> Goodness. All right, he's gonna do a lockdown. So we are on Zurich Court. 
up Ski Mountain. And this road turns to gravel down here at the bottom. So I don't know if we're on the right side of it or not. It is a loop. And the address is up here all kind of wonky, so. It's usually where I back down all the way, isn't yep. it? Yep, it's the one. I just don't know where the officer is. This is a city call. Oh my goodness. This is the snowy gravel. Oh gosh. This is probably not a good idea. Probably not. Okay, I see police, police lights down there. I wonder if we should have went to the way. Um, I don't know. Let me walk down there. I'll walk down there. Is it clear? This looks like it's more. I think it's just that corner there, but if you want me to walk down, I will. Just wait here. He needs to go the other way? Yeah. Okay, I'll let him know. Okay. All right, we made it back around. This road is a loop. And as you can see, it's quite snowy. This is where we went to the fella out and the bear, I opened the door and the bear was right there. So mom, two kids about went off the side. This ravine over here is, it's a pretty good ravine. I wouldn't want to push a car out of it. Definitely wouldn't want to be in it if it went down it. We're gonna get some rigging set up. Let's see what we can do. I thought we were gonna go home and sit on the couch. I wanted to go home and sit on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after this. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I said that? Trying to figure it out. Oh Lord. get it down here to the truck you could will lift it oh yeah it would just yeah it would just go straight down, go down. yeah all right let me turn this video back on Cap it off with. What's up with this kitchen? <laughs> 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 I'll turn this TPO one back on, and I'm going to go ahead and open these grids. So when you get it to it. Yeah. 
be so cold, man. The, the hydraulics are like, nope, I don't want to work no more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can come the rest of the way down if you want. That'd be good. And then just winch in.
do that. Okay, so she came down that very bravely and was able to. Yeah. We'll see you right here before she sleep. Yeah. My goodness. What's all that back here? Bears. Oh, okay. You're good. Just since you've been here. Sorry, just, yeah. just since she's been here. Yeah. Lovely. I can't tell that. Yeah, we won't. That'll be that'll be our secret. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that I'm gonna stand here. He bumps out and it goes over the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty sketchy. We might have to chain up just to get her. Go low. If you raise up, you cannot raise up right now. Okay, I want to see if I can use it to catch this. Your side might be up a little yeah. bit higher. Yeah, my side over here is not, I don't see the arm at all. It's barely on that lip though. I just can't see this arm anywhere. I think it's I think it's in the wheel. I think the arm is in the wheel. Shoot. Careful there. Kind of slick. He needs some of these. I have mine. Yeah. Have them yeah. So. See, I think it's behind the wheel. Yeah, right there. If you, if you stay, okay. It does work pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You don't slip it off? No. And I'm a, I'm a wimp when it comes to it. Do we need to move? Try that, yes. Yeah, come on, pass me there. Try that, see if you can go down any. Yeah, I'm a wimp when it comes to walking on this stuff. And these make me brave. See, there you go. Now close. There you go. Yay! It's the one. Air dams are cheap in the side in the hind side of things. <laughs> yes. Okay. Alright, we'll get some wheel straps on this thing. Alright, I'll walk right here beside you. Looks great. Looks great, Jeff. Yep. One second, hold on. Okay. Yep. Yep, this is the bad one. Yeah, you got it fine. Yeah, we're good this way. You can come over this way quite a bit. You're gonna have a drop off in three, two, one. All right, there you go. It just slid a little bit, it's fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're good. Now your back wheel's gonna go off here in three, two, one. Okay, boom up. Okay. 
Okay, now boom down a bit. Okay. Uh, boom down a little bit more. How are you looking over there? He needs to go up again. Hold up. Hold on, hold on. Go up. If he goes up, he's going to drag this bumper on this side. Wait, hold right there. Don't move. Let me see that side real quick. I've got a rock over here. You can grab them. Yep. Careful. These are. Oh, gosh. They're all sticker bushes. Because if he goes down, her rear bumper's coming off. Okay. okay. All right, straight. You're just gonna go straight, go real slow. All right. You won't even touch it. Go boom down just a little bit. Okay, go forward just a little bit. Excellent. We got it. Perfect. Right, you're good. Go up. Go up. You're good. Here's your final go take it. Well, that was not easy, but that was doable. Oh, uh, 10 out of 10. Recommend to never come back this road again. <laughs> yeah, they like, need to. Like Yelp reviews. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Zero out of 10 for this road. Awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got this here. A little bit with the boom. Yeah. Just a bit. Okay. Went back. Yay, I fixed it. <laughs> Just since she's been stuck, there's been a bear back behind her car. Do you see that trash up there? Yeah. Don't say anything to her though. She's already freaked out now. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I've got her hubcaps in the back seat too. I had to put those back on. Okay, let's go ahead and um, we're good? We're good, yeah. All right. Get her down out of here. I we'll probably just just let her have it. We're doing this with freebie. So. She's DoorDash. She's yeah, DoorDash. She's having a hard time. She's We've having a hard got, time. It's Christmas. She's been crying. She didn't have any money. So, well, I would assume we're going to go out to the main road with it, all right? I think she would probably be able to get out through here. It wasn't yeah. snowy or anything. Okay. Well, we'll get it down here to a little bit leveler spot, maybe. Okay. Are you guys? Are you guys good? Do you think I should let her down here? Do you think she can make it from here? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll do that then. Okay. Amazon? Huh? Amazon for my shoe cleats? Uh, Amazon, yeah. Yes, they're in it. Yeah, if he unloads it there, his his uh, arms will catch. Keep going, Jeff. Keep going. Just uh, two more feet. Yes, right there. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. You're good to go. All right. Let's go. The go. keys are in the car, right? Keys are in the car. It's running. Okay. The emergency brakes on. So you're okay. good to go. 
All right, thank you so much. Yeah. My fiance is down at the uh, marathon at the Industry okay. Mountain. Okay. That's where he's waiting on all of us to come down to, okay? Okay. okay. So that well, way we can get you the information you need for you, okay? Well, just uh, tell your fiance late Merry Christmas. And we're doing this one on the house. Are you sure, sweetheart? Yeah. yeah. Late Merry Christmas. You're, you're thank very welcome. Thank you. Late Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Oh, you guys stay safe and have a happy holiday, okay? We, we will. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm, I'm going to head home and see if I can catch a couple hours of sleep. It's been it's been a rough three days here. Uh, we still got people that, that really need us and uh, a decent size list, but we're gonna catch some shut eye and guys it's 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 been crazy. We've we've done I don't even know, I lost count on how many recoveries and, and folks that we've helped out. I know that I've had well over a thousand calls for requests for assistance we tried to get to, we tried to help a lot of those folks out but it, we've been we've been on the news I had a I had the news channel contact this one to uh, to set in on a, a recovery and try to give some information for the for the snowstorm so it has been a wild ride we've got Kendra's birthday tomorrow so happy birthday to Kendra got to make sure you fill up that inbox with happy birthdays for Kendra. <laughs> so comment that down below. We want to see how many happy birthdays Kendra can get. Uh, she works hard and busts her butt for the channel, she making really these videos for you guys to watch. I know I'm leaving out some stuff, dear. What do you got? I don't know. I'm just exhausted. I can't even hardly think. It's been since, what, 5 o'clock Monday afternoon, and it's 10 o'clock Wednesday night now, and I think we've been home for a total of about eight hours total yeah maybe that's probably really pushing it yeah so yeah we're gonna see if we can slide on home and and uh get some couch time with the puppies and maybe get a few hours sleep and see how many people we can get into you guys are not going to want to miss out i promise it's always a wild crazy new year's for the area especially gatlinburg so if you guys are going to be in town call me if you need me stay safe uh, the Space Needle does an amazing ball drop. That reminds me. Um, I don't know if the camera caught or not, but there were sirens earlier. And did you hear the reason for the sirens? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, the uh, was it twenty some kids? Twenty two, I think he said. Twenty two kids stuck in an elevator. In a hotel. In a hotel, probably fooling around doing something they weren't supposed probably to. Probably jumping. So yeah, we had multiple rescue squads heading out to that. Multiple sirens we could hear. So I hope all those kids are safe. Hopefully they get, uh, I don't know, rescued out the rescue hatch. Oh my goodness. How does that work? I don't know, that sounds terrifying. It does, it does. But, but anyway guys, yeah, stick around, stay tuned. The New Year's will definitely bring some more crazier videos. Uh, I'm not sure how fast Kendra will get some of these edited, but she, we have filled up four SD cards for this snowpocalypse event that we just got here. Hey guys, I hope you enjoy the footage that's coming your way here soon. And uh, looking forward to uh, a great year. We're growing. You guys are helping us with that. And uh, we really appreciate you watching. I'm not sure what's going on. They're just going to stop right here in the middle of the road. Just middle of the spur. They're just going to stop. Stop. Right He's here. He's got his hazards on. No? And then they're just going to go now. There were... He's leaning out his window taking pictures of the lights behind us. The welcome to Gatlinburg lights. Is that what happened? That's what he's doing. Okay. Well, you just can't stop in the middle of the road to take pictures of the lights. This is a this is a highway. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. You guys got a little bit of a rant on top of everything else that's going on. But anyway, now I'm signing off. I'm signing off. Stick around. Stay tuned. Smash that subscribe button. Like button. Post comment do all that stuff i'm looking forward to my play button so i can't get that unless you guys subscribe so make 23 better and we're gonna blow it out of the water for sure we got we got some crazy content coming your way and uh it's gonna get crazier i'm going home i'm going to bed